Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bee's YouTube channel. I'm Skinny Bee Man. This is a weekly series, intermediate series, on trying to increase your bees. Uh, next week we're going to do a bunch of our splits again. We're going back into splitting. This week's just going to be a little bit of, a little bit of everything. If you run. Uh, Styrofoam minis or half size frames. If you know that styrofoams, they've got the feeder in the styrofoam. I'll show you fill them up there a little bit. And if you put syrup in there, they, they're notorious for not drinking at all and it goes bad. And there's no easy way to clean that feeder out. And I've come to this year, all I've fed is dry in all of them. You put it in there, it lasts about four weeks and it does a really good job. I want to just take a five gallon bucket, about eight pounds of sugar, mix about a cup, cup and a half of uh, Ultra B pollen substitute in there. And I'm not notorious for not measuring. Just give them a little splash of vinegar, apple cider vinegar. About a cup of water. Now you can use a Honey Bee Healthy, this is Don the Fat Bee Man's Brew Builder, it's got uh, tea tree oil in it, uh, wintergreen, spearmint, and uh, just a little bit of lemongrass, just give a little, little dose of that, give a little smell to it. Then you just take a drill with a paint stirrer. Pause this camera, get this mixed up, and I'll show it to you. Okay. And you get this mixed up right. It should just almost not quite stick together. That's how wet it should be. It'll get hard a day or two in there. But they'll eat it really well. We'll go down here and load one of these minis up. I started out the year feeding, making fonda. It just takes too daggone long to, to make the fonda to uh, this here process just takes, you know, 10 minutes and makes up a pretty good batch. Mini nukes, styrofoam minis, three frames, raised queens out of them. It's a pretty simple deal. I just got a spoon in here.
I take a little block of wood and kind of pack it down. They eat the time out of it. That'll last about four to six weeks. They don't have to. It don't go bad. They will be in there now. They like it. I say this video is gonna be kind of little bits and pieces of everything. We're gonna shake some bees here in a little bit. But that's on the feeders. That's how I feed the styrofoam minis. Yeah, we come down here, we're going to pull a graft out. Maybe we'll have a mated queens out of this bunch to uh, put in our split next week. Maybe. I usually don't have a veil on, but uh, these are queenless hive for starter. And they can be a little bit on the rank side. Not usually, but I got a, I put a frame of cat brood in there last week when I put the start, uh, graft in, and I need to shake the bees off and make sure that there's no uh, queen cells on there. Because without, if there is, a virgin will hatch out, and it'll cut all your next graft cells down next time. I'll show you how, how I do it. You can't just look because you'll miss cells if you do. Take a little feather. Break some of these bees off. It's my little extra set of hands I made to hold the grafting bar. Now that, that cell, there was something wrong with it. They'd capped it and then cut it back open. Mike got back, got in it or something. I just got five eighths holes drilled in a two before, and that's what I take them off of this on, and then I carry them in the house and uh, put them in my Plano boxes for, with an incubator. As you can notice, they drawed comb on this last one. 
uh, that means my bottom box is probably filled up. I'll show you what I, how I set my starter up. I'll just trim that off. Well, not too bad. We had uh, one, two, I guess it was three no takes. They uncapped that one. Had uh, 17 takes out of 20. But over here in my starter box, starter hive, what I got, I've got a medium box on here that just had uh, uh, starter strips in it. And then I put a queen extruder between there and the starter hives up here. What that does a couple things. It gives them a place to draw wax so they ain't drawing them on my cells. And secondly, if a virgin happened to fly in here, a mated vir or the mated queen flies in from being on a mating flight and goes in this box, she can't get up here and cut my cells down. Believe me, as many virgins I run in this yard, it happens more than you think. You go in there and you think you're going to pull a graft out and you ain't got to sell one because they, they cut them all down. The virgin just goes in there and wipes them out. Like I say, I put a frame in here of cat brood the last time I put a graft in to keep plenty of nurse bees in this hive. I do, I give them a frame about every other time. And the way I know which one it was, you can see here, I put the date on it, top the frame. Actually, you can see it's not all hatched out yet. But they might have made a queen cell on there. So, what you got to do when you pull this graph. You gotta shake all the bees off. Then you, then you can see, now you come up here and look for queen cells. They're awful bad about putting them, putting them around the edges and the corners. And if you get a bunch of bees on there, you'll miss one and then that virgin will hatch out next time and cut all your cells down. Luckily, they didn't make no cells, so we're good here. We'll run them cells in the house. We may, uh, I've got to put a graft in. A grafting video is a, be a series on its own. It's a, it's a pretty, uh, pretty big process try to explain. We'll probably shake some bees and, and load some minis up here in a little bit. This is the bees I shook yesterday. I just went around the yard in strong highs and grabbed the frame. They're all mixed bees. I put them in this package put them in the basement at 68 degrees in the dark overnight put a jar feeder on you see they drunk almost a half a pint of syrup get our minis we got our queen cells here out of the incubator I've got holes drilling them inner covers. Snap my queen cells in. They snap right there. Got a beetle trap in it. Uh, 
got a robin screen on the front. Got ahead of myself. Been a very busy day. Guys picking up queens and trying to get everything else done. It's just been crazy. But I have a robin screen on the front. I just got a piece of this hard foam. I seal the entrance off with. That one's ready to load. <coughs> We'll just do a couple here. Get you guys. I eh, maybe three. put the feed in them. Okay, them's ready to go. Now, let me get these ready. Just take a spray bottle with nothing but water. I don't like to use sugar water. It makes, it makes the bees a sticky mass. Just pour them with water. Got a few dead bees in it. Huh. They even don't lose any. And that was the pheromone strip I had in there to keep them calm overnight. do turn the mini upside down open the door I've got a one cup measuring cup hot glued to stick and just bounce them down you get a cup of bees put them in there It's always hard to get them all in. You can't do it. And that one's loaded. Do the same thing. Bounce them down. Good cup of bees, put them in there and shut them up. A cup of bees is enough to need minis. 
to get a clean maiden. Make sure my stopper's stuck in. Sometimes you turn them upside down. The doors come un unglued. Bounce it down. Wasn't enough room to get all, had so much comb on that, didn't get in there. That's how I load minis. We've got about 15 more to load. I'll not bore you guys with that. What I usually do is get stunned. Have all these bees in the grass. <clears throat> we may shake some bees yet on this episode. I don't know. Yeah, we're going to shake a few bees. That's our just a regular three pound package. I've got my funnel made. This is I just take the can that they come with a feeder and cut it out. Made it, made the feet uh, funnel. Works really good. The main thing when you're shaking bees is we're only we're not taking a bunch out of one hive. We're just taking one a frame here and a frame there because this box is ready for a, another box. Well, instead of put, give them another box right now, I'm just going to shake the frame of bees out of them and give them a little run. But you want to make sure you find your queen. And believe me, I've got in a hurry and said, ah, oh, I can find the queen. I'm good enough. And end up shaking her in packages. Sometimes they kill her. And sometimes they uh, just ends up in a mini nuke. I had them both ways. But first thing you gotta do, you just gotta get in here and you gotta find your queen. this veil on because we're going to do some shaking and I get a little rough on the bees. No clean there. to hide. Never easy just to have the first one, the queen, be on it and you shake the frame and be gone. But I hear my queen. Nice big old buck fast queen. Hide on me a little bit. He's right up here in the corner.
got a frame of bees, we know where our queen's at. We just, just take them and bounce them in there. That's all there is to the chicken frame of bees. I'll shake about another nine frames in this and I'll load the rest of my minis. I got them loaded about 25 minis. We loaded the others first. Those nurse bees, they hold on to the frame a little tighter. All the ones that flew back are field bees. Look at them here. Trying to all get in the back in the hive. That's how we shake bees here and load bees. As you can see, the bees there, bees there, I'll run them down. They don't come out of there too bad. But if you like the videos, hit the subscribe button, the bell next to it, get notified when we make more. We're going to do splits next week if the weather permitting and everything works all right. Thanks for watching.